it okay that um, I fill you in on the alcoholic beverage I've chosen this evening? Sure. You saw the sip. Yeah. Now hear the description. Oh I took 100% artisan frozen water. I neatly placed it in a rocks glass or tumbler, some call them. I splashed a little lemon juice in there and then devoured the entire glass with vodka. And I have now named it my laziest martini ever. But there's your description. I poured a beer in a glass. <laughs> All right. So we are we're going to do a one on one podcast for a little while. Uh, Steve and I meaning, have the most meaning frequent. like for the next several weeks or months or years or just like Forever. this is a an in addition to the lovely guests we have on the crazy events we go to and cover and yeah. anything else that we're doing. We're going to do we these like. as well because we have like the weirdest conversations off the podcast and we're like, yeah. well, why don't we just have them on the podcast? So, OK, first weird question. Uh, Lay it on me what, right now. What was <laughs> what was the time you felt? What was the luckiest you felt doing things for the podcast or on the podcast? I think uh, I feel pretty lucky when we get to go places and they shower us with food and drink. Yes, I think so, too. I think those those are the times you sit back. You're like. How cool do you feel right now? Because I yeah. feel pretty cool. Or they just treat us like VIPs. Yeah, yeah, we're just absolutely. Two Which I mean, up. Um, but I will say, I think the luckiest I felt was the first year and the first time meeting Lena and getting pulled into Summerfest Tech and then partnering with Summerfest and getting those media passes and then walking in and and. It is it's that on to, on top of the fact that when you're walking through Summerfest, people just straight up eye you and eye you up and down when you're when you've got that badge on. They look look down, then look up and they see and they you're wearing again, Summerfest and they gear down. and they're like, uh, like trying to figure it out. Like, oh, why? Why does this loser? Yeah. Why badge? does this guy get a badge? What is that? Does he work here? It doesn't look like he works I here. Does he have Summerfest gear on? So it's always. Uh, what a treat we like that vip treatment it's so also, rare it, it is just it's yeah. so rare and it's so i also like to you know meet, meeting uh meeting people who you never thought you would meet before and then oh, they spend absolutely. time and then like suddenly like you're texting them all the time yes absolutely i think about that for the bands that we get to yeah. interview um for some of those small businesses Business where you walk owners, in and the yeah. owners know yeah. you and they're like oh hey and I, yeah, you're right. Sometimes I think we take that for granted that we know those people. And then other people are like, how do you, how do you know that person? How do you know them? How do you know them? And they're like, oh, we just, we did a podcast with them a couple of years ago yeah. and just kind of stayed in touch because, yeah. you know, people are awesome. I think they mo make most mugs for left-handed people, left-handed drinkers. Okay. Who makes so a mug for lefties? What do you mean? All right. Talk to me. Talk me to me, Goose. Yeah. Let me tell you. I'm gonna drink. Uh huh. Right, right hand. Right handed. Yeah. Hmm. Great. Works pretty it looked, well. It looked awkward. Looked pretty. I think it worked pretty well. Okay. Let me drink. <laughs> I was messing with you. <laughs> it's gonna be hard because the mic's right here. But let me give it a try. Give it a drink, try. Let, let me drink from the. Let me. Would you stop pressuring me? Do you think maybe? Okay. Go ahead and drink, and then let's. I'm gonna see. drink from. I'm gonna drink from the left hand side now. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> okay. All right. I see your point. They should have put it on both sides, but Why they not? cheaped out and did one side. Yeah. And that's the life we're living. Anyway, this is why you have product testers. What's your second question? Uh, second question was how, oh wait, what's the craziest thing we've done on the podcast so far? I think the craziest thing we've done is that like 20 below <laughs> photo shoot. It's a hundred percent what I thought too. That and was dumb. That was dumb. And even though we um, met like one of our best friends through it. Yeah. That yeah. was really meeting, dumb. Meeting Eric for the, uh, for that photo shoot. The poor guy was dropped yeah. off at Bradford beach and he was Maybe hiding like inside. This. 
I think uh, I think and that that photo shoot day was wild too because uh, first you you wanted we were dressing for the stuff that we wanted to showcase. Yeah, we had like sweatshirts photos, on. and not necessarily for the negative two degree weather. And I remember it negative two because we were in your van. And I looked and I was like, that cannot be right. Is it negative two outside right now? Yeah. And then on top of that, we were doing cold weather things with cold things in mind. Like so ice cream. We did the beer, beer. at Lake on Lake yeah. Michigan at Bradford Beach yeah. on the lake in a couple of lawn chairs. Genius. Hilarious. That was um, Kristen's idea, right? It w- yes. yes. Yeah. Genius yeah. idea. That was a genius idea. We get out there, we clink the beers together really, really quick. They were unopened. Spoiler alert. Um, really? We're going to open those beers <laughs> on oh, the lake. We, uh, we did that. Eric did a great job. He shot really quick, and he, <laughs> you could see his hands were getting red, just yeah. frozen. His fingertip fell off. Um, and then from there, we stopped at Purple Door Ice Cream. We got some ice cream because, you know, it pairs really well with freezing with cold weather. Ice cream. Ice cold That's how I treats. Brought, had frostbite on my tongue. Yeah, serious. I know. I yeah. think we took a couple of bites while we were. Th- None of those photos turned out, by the way. That was. I know. <laughs> that was then, a rough go of that one because there's ice cream everywhere. But the whole reason we wanted to do this was to launch a new website. Yep. In a, in a week. Yes. And always. Have good, and have it's new always photos for it. Yeah. <laughs> we always have a week away from something. And we might be pressure prompted. Yeah. And so we did it. And we get out of the car and we we walked five feet and we're like, no, fuck this. I'm not walking all the way to where we're supposed to walk. Yep. To. Absolutely not. It was freezing cold. We're like, how about we just do it right here? Let's go drive and pick Eric up. Yeah. <laughs> and then we and just... didn't even know us. We just stopped in the middle of the street. On Lake, <laughs> he did. <laughs> Lake Drive and he jumped out and got out. Hey, got get in, in our car. van. <laughs> get in our van, dude. <laughs> and he got in and he's like, oh, thank you guys. I was freezing out there. Yeah. He was hiding in a, like a corner of a building. He was. But what's funny is one of our best photos isn't even that. So that was the one we did on purpose. Mm-hmm. And then the one we kind of were like, oh, we should do this was at Summerfest. And luckily enough, we did an episode um, just talking about what was going on. And Eric was there and Eric snapped a couple it. of good photos of us with the Milwaukee skyline in the background. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't have, I can't argue with that. I think that is truly the craziest thing we've done on the podcast. Everything else has been fun, entertaining, exciting, delicious. Yeah. yeah. It's just been kind of cool. Delicious. Um, so another thing we were going to do tonight was talk top five list. Like five and experiences. Top five experiences Categories. in the city. Yeah. Um, do you want to go if first? You dis- if you disagree with us, you know what you say? Good. Yeah. You Who shouldn't cares? agree with us. Huh. Think, you have care. your own thoughts. Have your own thoughts. Get the Be hell original. out. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think this series of you and me is just be like, how can we offend everybody? <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. Just doing normal content. I think. Yeah. Right. Right. So we, um, We've been doing a lot of thinking lately. Yes. And one of the things we've been thinking about for a project, because we were asked to give the welcoming address to 300 Indiana University students Mm -hmm. who are in Milwaukee this week. Yeah. And 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 we've been thinking about this for a while. Yeah. Like what? What will we talk to these students about? Do we do we be inspiring? Do we goof no. off for a yeah, half that, an hour? That's the one. That's the one. There it is. Yeah. And you know, what would we do if we had a few days to not worry about anything but experience Milwaukee? Yeah, absolutely. And so our top five. Our top five. Top five. And the qualifier should be that they have Saturday free. Yes. Yeah. This group of this group yeah. of kids coming up. So yeah, that's yeah. kind of where we they have their Saturday free, the and we were trying to like, hey, let us help you fill in the gaps. Yeah. Let us help you fill in your free time with yeah. cool stuff to do around the city. So, all right. What's your what's your fifth? Fifth, I think. Uh, fifth on my list would be get out to a Brewers game. Yeah. You know, check out American Family Field. 
There's a lot of great drink and food that be had. Oh my gosh, yeah. Time. Barrel great Yard is there. The game, yeah. Get a brat while you're there. They're always good. I don't know good how food. they do it, but it's amazing every time. Uh, Micro Brews on the third, third, level. third level, level, right? I think so. I'm, I'm pretty positive. sure, but I don't fact. You have that, a big long bar that it's amazing how fast they pour those tap things because tap. it is there is never a line when I go there. You know what you can get there? Not at the... Bourbon at the, slushes? No, brandy, brandy slushes? At the barrel yard. Oh, yeah. And churro donuts, churro FYI. Churro donuts, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. So good. Oh, God. They were so warm. Oh. Um, what would your okay. five be? All right. That's a good one. Uh, my five actually would be... Um, I wanted to say Bucks game, even though we're out of season. Yeah. But I thought like really Deer District it, yeah. in general. So, yeah, so I like Buck, that. Bucks Pro Shop. Maybe if you have some time to do a tour and then hit up Mecca or drink Wisconsinably. Yeah. Uh, Mecca's got all the sports and a hundred inch screen TV behind the bar, which is insane. It's like the one I have in my house. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The one that you're, I think that it's is the whole inch. entire side of your house. Anyway. Um, and then, uh, you know, have some drink and food there and just enjoy that. That large space. Yeah. If if I what are you doing? It's on a glass coaster and it keeps oh, nice. sticking. If I was uh should we go to number four? Yeah, what were you gonna say? Because I was so you got me thinking a little bit. If I really had a day, like if I was gonna be in Milwaukee, I'd bounce around to different places that people told me, but if I really just had a day to chill and do something and like learn, yeah. I think I would do a, a tour. Like a city, uh, city foods, Milwaukee. Oh my God. City, city tour. tour MKE. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know why that was so hard to spit out. Uh, well, I know. I know why. It was probably the alcohol. <laughs> if we're being <laughs> honest. Drinks you're should making. I, is that, should we do, no, should we're we talk good. about that? No. Uh, <laughs> I think, uh, that's what I would do. I mean, I've done yeah. those before and it's super, a super cool, intimate way to see the city and you learn a bunch of stuff and then it you. It is. And the right tour, you can have good food and drink as well. And I mean, all my experiences revolve around food and drink. So, and there's something to be said about the next few hours. I don't need to think, I just need to enjoy the tours there. You're getting some information. Drive. You just sit back, somebody else is driving. Yeah. You walk into the place, there's rarely a need for any decisions to be made, which is great. Yeah, I agree. Which I love. All right, so that's uh, your number four, huh? That's my number four. Okay. I got to say, we should probably tell people we've been drinking for a while. Oh, God, yeah. We, um, so I've been... it's a little hard to remember all the stuff. <laughs> it's going to get a little hazy. It's a little hazy IPA going on over here. Uh-huh. Mm. What? I would say my number four... Oh, that's so tough. It is tough. I want to say either. You know where I could picture you going? Where? A brewery. Hell. A brewery. Like, that's what I'm. That's breweries? what I'm like. Well, does brewery go higher on my list though? Is where I'm. Was what I'm thinking. I feel like number four should be something more active, like walking the beachfront. Yeah. I know. I do like that, though. I know. It's cool. but Minus sometimes that dead fish smell that you get. Sometimes. Everything else. And plus there's a, there's seen, a, a um, long Collectivo long yeah. on, the, on the waterfront as well. Yeah. So you have the River Walk in Milwaukee, and you have which, is, which is cool. Walk. And there's lots of restaurants right on the river. Yeah. Uh, but then you, you have right Lake people Michigan. While they're eating. Talk yeah. Yeah, exactly. There is some weird walkthroughs where you're like oh i'm literally right next to you and your food hi Touch him. Touch him. um or people running by you're like did you get sweat on my in my margarita yeah because that's not cool you can sneeze when you walk by but yeah but uh the so the riverfront's really cool that's that i'm just gonna say like waterfront walks mm -hmm. isn't that my number four and then you can walk the beach too and you can go hang out on the beach for a little bit but you can keep walking go up the hill you can walk lake drive for a pretty pretty long time which is cool yeah all right so that's my number i'm going number four to that so number uh whatever <laughs> three i think these are all bunched up like my Your underwear three three, <laughs> three through one nope <laughs> boxers nope gotta, gotta nope. have them on to get them bunched up <laughs> yeah 
number three would have to be, I'd want to be, a, if I got this far, I'd want to know the hidden gems, but they come yeah. with the risk. They come with the risk. The risk is you really have to figure out kind of the local code because you walk in with the wrong team on your shirt <laughs> or city on your shirt. People will just know you're not from here. Are you specifically talking about an area south of us? <laughs> I'm just saying. You walk into the bears. No going to beat you up or fight no, you. No, not at but all. They're just going to know, you know? No, like, they're going gotta... to know. And, and, and frankly, uh, for the most part in the area, I have heard and seen personally people yeah. get excited that somebody from when out of town come in. I knows know. this place I know. and comes in because then the next question out of their mouth is, oh, my God, how'd you hear about us? How, yeah. How'd you know to come here? Yep. And it's always somebody like, oh, yeah, my, my buddy lives a couple blocks away. And he was no. like, you got to come here. It's so good. No, it's always uh, he, they heard it on a, on our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you think that. I would have shamelessly said, plugged yeah. our podcast at that point. But guess what? Nope. I didn't think of it. So <laughs> this takes us into a whole different kind of uh, sidetrack. Oh, does it? Top hidden gems. Oh, God, I know. That's a hard one. If you had to pick one hidden gem you think is your favorite. The easiest hidden gem, I think, is Vanguard. I think that's the easiest hidden gem you can you could possibly yeah. pick up. It's okay. got amazing sausages. It's just weird enough to be endearing. Yeah. And you do have lovely wait staff who, who works very hard because yeah. they are churning people in and out of there. Plus, it's like a little hole in the wall place. It's not big. And it has like 30, 40 people in there. Pick. I have two of two of my top ones. Oh, you get two and I only get one. No, it's fine. That's fine. Whatever. It just won't be even. Because I say that because one I haven't been to. Oh, okay. What's the one? What's the first one? Uh, Tin Widow. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. What did we get at Tin Widow when we went there? Was it old fashions? I I, I don't remember. (laughs) Got a little hazy. I had. I it was. It was with Lena. We went with Lena there. after yeah. our first uh, oh, podcast with her Summer for Summerfest Tech. Yeah. yeah, Tech. Yeah, yeah. Like the ambiance in that place is unparalleled. Uh-huh. But whatever we got was so good that even though I wasn't ready for another drink, I was like, I could. I'm like yeah, halfway through this, and I already want another one. The other one. I mean, I. So I have three actually. For my top one. Get after it. Because I think one that's really friendly and like you could be anyone and walk into this place and and everyone will welcome you. New Barons. Oh, yeah. You know, and I'm not just saying it because we they have a, truly uh, treat a beer on tap. Everyone like a local. They just do. You're just like immediate friends when you show yeah. up. But uh, the the one that... I don't know yet. La Pina. La Pina. I've it's never new, even heard of it's it. It's a new tequila place. Oh, wait. Yes, I have. Okay. Yes. I am just dying to get there to, t- to check it out. What's the first tequila you're going to request when you go there? You ever Cuervo. heard of this one called Jose Cuervo? 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 Am I saying that right? Yeah, but they have a gold. If they want to punch you. And a silver. And I think I'm going to have them do half and half. And I'll just do a shot of that. It'll be a Glover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No know. way. You got the Cuervo here? <laughs> Is that silver? Is that a worm? <laughs> Let's um, do it. Body shots. <laughs> body body <laughs> shot. Body shots. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. No, no. Body that, shots. It, like most of our conversations, <laughs> that took a real quick turn into Weirdsville. <laughs> Imagine people. We were like, let's do some body shots. All right. We're a podcast. We podcast. Who's who's doing? Bring the mics. Who's by? Mine. (laughs) (laughs) The shots. Does anybody have some hand sanitizer or (laughs) something? I ain't exactly clean. (laughs) Who brought their shaver? (laughs) Let's make a path. Uh, (laughs) Let's make a path. There's a thick, lush forest here. We're going to need to make a path. Oh, my God. Okay, so that was your, our non, our unlisted list of favorite hidden gems. Yeah. Yeah. That, those are the ones. 
Those are the ones. Those are the ones. Uh, Steve had 14. I was only 14, given a single, uh, 14 one, yeah. a single place to offer up. Um, so, all right, let's say you have to. Do you have it? You you mentioned some hidden gems, if you will. I think now, number three would would have been my that would have been hidden gems. Yeah. What about uh, what if you can only pick one? You you get you have to send someone to one place. One place. You know, no matter what, they're going to enjoy it. Did I already mention Vagabond? No. Oh no, I mentioned Vanguard. Yes. Uh, so Vagabond has an Argentinian taco yes. and or burrito bowls, uh, burritos, any a bunch of other different styles of street taco that I just absolutely love. love. And every time I go there, I, go there. I am I satisfied. Am satisfied. Okay. What is there an echo? <laughs> Is there a D bag echo happening? Uh oh, the D we we're in a D bag because uh, it, it just reminds me of going Valentine's out. Day. <laughs> oh, you just couldn't let me do it. You couldn't <laughs> let me have it. So, I would say that what? would be like I'm I'm Vagabond. sitting to one yeah. one spot, and I go just if you're down with the street tacos, that's the spot. Go there. Yeah. It's cool. The uh, the interior is really interesting. They have speakers all over the wall and the bars are set in sliced hot dog style. Um, what are the those, tin? Those silver truck things. Yeah. Silver oh God, trailer. Airstreams. Airstream. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Yes. Yeah. Cut in half airstreams, which is just badass. They have a graffiti room. They do have an outdoor patio as well. All right, that was our number two. That was my number two. I think you need to also have a number two. I'll be right back. Have you had a number two yet today? <laughs> Three of them. Dear God. Uh, my number two, which is uh, like our faves, right? Like, I would say transfer. It's where I, yep. I'm there three to five. The pizza's amazing. The salami bruschetta. Yeah, I'm there... Eight times a week. That's so you leave and come back one of those days, or is that multiple I need, days? I don't need to tell you. <laughs> you don't tell me. Who are you? Who are <laughs> Who you? Do you think you are? Yeah. Yes, I love it. I love that place as well. I was just you know about you... to jump immediately to number one, and I was going to you... tell you what your number one needs to be. <laughs> what? I don't even know how you pick a number one after all this. After well, number one for me is a brewery tour. Like, just do one. Yeah. Lakefront or any uh, tap room or tap room. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that not maybe just brewery in general would be my number yeah. one. Go to a number of breweries, try out their beer, do flights, do the whole thing, whatever you want to do, take in the ambiance. But then also if you can do a lakefront brewery tour because it's, they're awesome and they yeah. hire people that are theater majors, th theater actors, regular actors, film and TV actors, uh, they hire all those folks to do the tours because they know it's a production. It's a, and that's, that's absolutely awesome. So I mean, sometimes it's just a loser owner of the brewery. Wow. <laughs> Shots fired. But seriously. And, well, and coincidentally, if you're at Lakefront, yeah. they do have some of the best cheese curds in the city, if not the best cheese curds, Agreed. honestly. Agreed. The city agrees because they had the, put a food truck outside to serve just cheese curds. So uh, Lakefront's one. I love, uh, I said New Barons. I also mm -hmm. love uh, Broken Bat School. Broken Bat's awesome. Love... Wiffle ball. You can watch some wiffle ball while you're there. Like yeah. literally in the in the brewery, they have a wiffle yeah. ball court. Uh, third Space. Third Space is always awesome. Uh, my favorite part about Third Space is that there's always enough parking. Yeah. Absolutely. Sometimes, lovely. not all the time. Mobcraft. But even like if you go on the street, you know what I mean? Like even if you don't make it into the parking lot, there's always enough street parking. Hmm. I've never I've never been there, even for events and stuff where I have not gotten a parking spot. Hmm. So anyway, I guess I'm just better. Than you. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Uh, what? Who else are we forgetting? I've well, never been to Eagle Park, but their beers like oh my god, too. Eagle Park is so good. So yeah. I visited Eagle Park when they were in the uh, the startup warehouse. Yeah, um, where they have what is it three or four? I think it's four levels of yeah of Over giant at, um, warehousey rooms. Lincoln Ave, and they rented it out to um, Eagle Park on yeah. the third floor. 
the the beer is always amazing. Uh, same for all the places that we've discussed. Yeah. There's a reason these breweries have stuck around. They make damn good beer. Right. Even when you steal it like you do. Even when... <laughs> I'm hiding this in my belly. Here's seven bucks. <laughs> Don't look down. Quick, look away. I'm running. Oh, your beer went away. <laughs> Shut the cameras off. I need to drink this. <laughs> And this fast. is an Airbnb. <laughs> so, yeah. That's and it. I, I think the only thing that we were missing was like Summerfest. Yeah. And then, and, but I didn't we? We talked about it. Yeah, we did, didn't we? All right. So, people out there, uh, if you're Any listening, yeah. uh, what did we get wrong? What did we get right? What are your what personal preferences? What's your hidden gem? That's what I want to know. I want to know yes. what your hidden gem is. What's yes. the spot? Who cares? <laughs> P.S. <laughs> Signed Adam D. P.S. I don't care. Get your own podcast. Yours truly waiting for your we answer. Don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. Yours truly, I don't care. <laughs> no, All unfortunately right. I do. Yeah, I we know. do. I know. I'm just uh, uh, so boring. Why are uh, you purple now? Oh, I uh hang on. Gotta close my incognito browser. <laughs> there was a lot of porn going earlier. <laughs> what a weird way to phrase it. <laughs> like you didn't put it on, like it was just on. Well, oh, I what I got, got here? Got, <laughs> I accidentally turned Who on knows? the Playboy channel. I go outside. And still. Who was in this room last? <laughs> oh, you're, and you're it? holding the remote. <laughs> yeah, a newspaper. Got chip crumbs all over <laughs> your shirt. Oh. No. Uh, uh, I no wasn't just sitting just down in there. No shirt, just boxers. Oh, <laughs> oh it was in there. With a newspaper uh, or like oh coupon, my God. Coupons, Sunday coupons. Sun- Sunday coops. Yeah. All right. Coops. Well, I finished my beverage. So Me too. that means it's time we're, to we're done. Yeah. get the hell out of here. Yeah. I drank from my left-handed mug. Yes. And now... Milwaukee zone. This is the first time anyone is going to see you do this. Yeah. Yeah. And you totally fucking interrupted me per the right. usual. Yeah. Sorry about that. Go for it. Do it again. <laughs> Come on. I was like halfway through it. You're like, you know what? <laughs> you hear? Oh, I don't know if you know this, but hey, this is the first time people tell you see that mug. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what's going on right now? <laughs> This that was the that was the podcast equivalent of you running on the field naked. Fine, do it. Go. Okay. You ready? Yeah. And now Milwaukee Zone. New ski. New ski. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded so much like you were trying to hold it in. And it just like burst out of your mouth. I'm watching you and I can't time it right. <laughs> but it was like new ski. I'm like, <laughs> oh all right, we got to go. Yep. My chair is creaking. We out. That's my chair, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>